Good morning, morning. I'm at work today. I uh, saw quarter nine. I just had to come down to see what the fire was like after we lit it at five o'clock last night with the improved dampener. Now, normally if I let the fire at five o'clock, I'd have to be back at half last nine, ten o'clock to make sure it was fine for the rest of the night. But let's have a look and see what it's like this morning. So as you can see, fire's still on. That's got a good few hours left of it before it goes out. If I go inside, normally it's just the top pipe that's warm. The bottom pipe's hot as well, which is fantastic. And also, the maximum I got in here was 20 degrees, which is that now, and the lowest was 13. I've just reset that. So, that little dampener has worked. And what I can actually do is I can knock it all the way in for it lasts a bit longer. So, good job. Busy work day at work the day. Let's have a look and see how many people are not there. Let's <laughs> see what it's like on the way up for people self isolating. But other than that, I'm off tomorrow, so I'll catch you all tomorrow for another fun filled potting on day um, and possibly get a bit digging done as long as it doesn't rain today. Hello, that's me finished work for another day. I'm off tomorrow. So um, I'm back down the garden straight away to sort the fire out. That fire has been now been banked up and I've got everything shut down. Well, I've got a little bit of daylight left here because it's a shock horror after I finish work, it's a bit of daylight. Can't wait until these late nights start coming in and I can get things sorted through the day as well um, when I'm doing early shifts. Um, there's a few things I want to get potted on. I've got, um, I've got tomatoes. Look at them. Look at them tomatoes there. Fantastic. They do need to be potted on. Um, they're just the early sown ones, the garden has delight. They're actually the ones that are here. They're the ones I'm going to be potting on this very moment in time once I get the pots and everything sorted. So I'm going to sort my compost out, put the lights on, and I'm going to make um, the water and trays and get things sorted now. So it saves us nothing to do it tomorrow. Well, unfortunately, I don't have any stand tonight, or I would have showed you in time lapse what I'm up to. Um, these are the tomatoes, as I was mentioning, that's in the pots. And they are humongous, and they need to be potted up now. Um, so what I've done is I've gotten them from the pots where it's just soil of compost. I've taken them outside, I've rubbed the compost off, and I've put dipped it in water, and I've got some healthy shoots there. Now, I've grown these on mass production in a pot, and what I'll do is I'll pot these up right up, as far as I can, deep in the pot that I'm going to be using. And all I'm going to be using are these cups. Now, these cups are, I could, ideally, they need to go in the pine cups, but um, we'll be selling these in about a week's time, once I've getting the feed into the pots, um, and then people can do with them what they please. So, I've got my trays, let's get cracked on. Well, a bit different. I apologise. I didn't show you the tomatoes last night after I potted them up. I wanted to get home. I got chatting to Martin Finnamo. Um, I video, video called him because I know he's working away at the minute. So I had a good old chat with him. Um, so let us show you how I got on with the tomatoes last night. Well, they look a little bit worse for themselves. I didn't get them a drink last night before I left. Um, but I got 68 tomatoes potted up from that one pot. Um, uh, I'm going to make a start and do them ones today. Uh, I've actually been and I've getting, been to the, the fruit and veg shop and they've been giving away the mushroom trays so I've been getting another six mushroom trays so that should cover us for a little while. I'll need to think of a plan of where to put these for the time being because they can't stay in here. Obviously with the weather that's been at the minute or cold it's getting, um, they're going on with to start moving some things around. So today is Tuesday. Um, Mr. Bump is going for a minor operation, so I wish you all the best, mate, with that, and I hope you have a speedy recovery. Uh, the less said for that, the better. <laughs> um, I'll pop and call you as soon as I can, mate. Uh, but yeah, like I say, a speedy recovery. Uh, watch what you're doing. Uh, Today's plan is, uh, in terms of Mr. Bump, John, he's actually lent me his... Uh, He's grinder again. What I'm going to get sorted out today when Grinder Dave comes down, I want to get this window sorted once and for all because he's also provided me with this big tin, this big bit of metal so that I can cut that window out and get that window put in properly once and for all. I've also brought down these because I'm supposed to get these in a month ago, but uh, I haven't gotten the chance to, so I'm going to get the begonias in. Uh, in pots, I'm going to grow these in pots this year. They look lovely, and they did look lovely um, in the pots out there. I might do these a bit more next year because uh, they do look really nice. I know that uh, a couple of guys do grow them, um, and they look lovely on the, in the greenhouse when it's all emptied out. As you can see, it's absolute chatter block. <laughs> but when it's empty, you need something to put in it, but uh, they look good. First things first, though, this flue pipe here, the damp, damper, um, it's doing a fantastic job. It's m The minimum in here is 20, um, sorry, the minimum in here is 15, which is still a bit too warm, um, but it's, it, it'll do for what needs to be in here. Uh, the maximum's being 20 degrees, which is t it's still a little bit too hot, but it's better than 39 it was at one point. 
Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut a little bit more of the flue, see if I can get a little bit more of this dampener in, just to try and shut it off a bit more. I might even round the top of the plate off. Basically, I'm just going to be playing with it, trying to uh, optimise um, the best route, but I know that it works, and that's the main thing. Well, here's some you don't see very often. This is the compost bin. As you can see, it's all rotten down lovely here. I've got plenty of worm activity in here. As you can see, look at them. Lovely. I just chuck, I need to chop all them up, actually, they're all the pears. Um, but I'm just busy mixing over the, the stuff at the front here that's ready, because the stuff at the back isn't. Uh, all this stuff is a good couple of years old now. It needs a good seven out, but good stuff that what i'm going to do is because i've just spotted i need to get these done if i don't get them done now it doesn't get done um giant cabbages need potting up so i've given these a quick rub down um i'm getting some the rest of the bag of clover that's potting potting and bedding that i've got um that's on there i'm gonna do a bit of a mix here um and use some of that compost with some of that compost pot the nine um cabbages in there and i've got another three to pot up which i'll pot into uh, potting and bedding when I pick some up tomorrow. So there we go, I've got the compost mixed up, I've moved it out the way, I've got the cabbages all ready to go, I've got the buckets ready to go as well, compost ready to go, this is what happens when you make your own compost, the little bits of rubbish in it, but other than that, that's mixed with predominantly, the majority of this is just the garden compost, which is great. I'm expecting weeds of course, but it is what it is. Good, good stuff. Right, time to get them in them buckets. That's the cabbages potted up. Got two, four, six, eight and nine. Got nine in total, yeah. So there's a few of them which are looking a bit limp because they need a good drink. But other than that, I do like the look of that one. That one looks good. Funny enough, they're all the same. They're all the same from the same seed. One issue I've got is that one of them looks like a bloody Brussels sprout. And this one, it's because it's got a longer neck than the rest. And I've planted that a bit deeper than I would normally do. But we'll see what happens. But these are now going to go either into here and the bench at the back or into that middle of the greenhouse. I'm more tempted to put them in the middle of the greenhouse at the minute. I'm inside the onion house here. I was trying to pull one of the uh, one of the cabbages up because it went to seed, funny enough. So in here what I've got is I've put the snowball turnips and the purple Milan turnips. I've got the chrysanthemums. I've got the giant cabbage that's from the saved seed. I've got the giant red cabbage from the saved seed as well. And I've got the giant Cornish, Cornish cabbage giants. The Cornish giant cabbage, should I say, and um, the two that I couldn't fit into that middle greenhouse. Now let's go next, go next door, and I'll show you the middle greenhouse. And that's the Cornish giants potted up. So they all look a lot healthier. So I'm going to give them new compost, and they're a new homemade compost as well. And I'm going to give them a little little drink as well with some seaweed, liquid seaweed next in a couple of days once I get the feed into the ground but that's them sorted in here now of course I will have to move them out of here but the weather over the next week looks like it's going to get low um, and this is the place where we can heat um, just a little bit so they're staying here uh, for another week and a half to maybe two weeks and then from here they'll be getting moved and put into the bottom greenhouse down there or alternatively it be getting put into here um, the side here I've got the tomatoes so there's three lots, three, the, the tomatoes that I did last night, I'm going to do another lot and put another lot in here as well. Same principle with these, a couple more weeks, and then they will be going down in the bottom greenhouse. A lot of things going through my mind at the minute, seeing what to do while I'm down here. That wasn't a job which I was going to get done, but I needed to get it done anyways. If I was going to move the cabbages, I might as well pot them on. Um, I've got the tomatoes to pot, to pot up as well, which I've got there, a little bit of compost there. I'm waiting some more compost tomorrow, but I'm at work. Um, so I might have to come down tomorrow night and do a bit more. Um, in the meantime though, I've got a couple of plans in regards to carrots, which I'll tell you more about. For those that will remember, last year I grew carrots in uh, buckets. I'll be doing the same again this year, um, but also show carrots I'm going to put in here. So I'm going to grow some uh, sweet candle in here. I'm going to bore the hole out and I'm going to put the carrots in. Now these here, 
of this 40 litre air pot. They were obviously for the giant onions last year, they'll be for the giant onions this year as well, and some uh, Yorkshire giant leeks. The spent compost in there, I'll be filling this up, and I'll start filling this up as well. So I've got about, to, I've got five of them to do, fill this up one first. That's the two, I've got put two, I've got about, eight, about 70 litres of compost in there, and it's done about two and a half inches. But that'd be good to put it to start stuff off in. And I can just shut that lid, get nice and warm. So that's that done. I want to show you something else what I found as well. So here's a catch crop and potatoes. But there was one I wasn't expecting to see. That's this bad lad. <laughs> Look at that for a potato. I think that's a Desiree. It's huge. I'm going to put that back in a single pot and see what comes of it. <laughs> right, time to get these begonias potted up. So lovely apricot ones, um, white ones. I've got to start them off in the smaller pots. Um, then that's why I'm going to get them sorted, and I've got a bit of space at the back there to get them put. Up. Right, that's them um, potted up. Halfway in the pots, I want to fill the top over and get them put away. I'll show you the begonias in a minute. I'm busy, busy looking for a seed tray to keep it in. Um, and I've just walked past the greenhouse, and I, I, I wondered why there was honey uh, in the greenhouse the other day. And I'm sure I mentioned this on a previous video, but I've just found out the reason as to why. It turns out, Granda has become the butterfly whisperer. <laughs> Quick in the greenhouse. There we go. Look at that. I'll wait until it stops. The bark effect on the outside. On the inside, it's like orange eyes and things as well. But I don't know if that's more butterfly or moth, because it looks really, it's not really the best angles to get at that, but Oh well, let him be. I told him, I told Granda, he's not keeping his little pet butterfly in here when I've got cabbages on, because I better not start eating, laying uh, eggs on me, cab me cabbages, because I'll be foaming. <laughs> Failing that, I'll just cover them over. That's the begonias done, sorted. I'm going to give them a little drink from the bottom, and I'm going to pop them on top of that shelf up there. Right, Granda Dave's coming along to give us a hand with this window, so when I get this window cut, get the uh, template done, and want to get the cut out of that sheet. Where's your butterfly, Granddad Dave? Yes, yes. Doing it a flow. <laughs> you want to see the other I've, side? I've seen the other side. I've seen the other side. I tell you what, though, it's not stopping in there with the cabbages. <laughs> I'm not going to kill it. You want to keep it as a pet? I've got food in there for. Well, you'll have to leave it so far. By the looks of them, look, giant cabbage. <laughs> I can stay inside here now. A lot more room to manoeuvre in here, so you can keep it in here, Grand, all right? You can have a munch on Ali's spring cabbage. The trick home, trip home is the battery run out in the drill, uh, the, the grinder, sorry. So uh, I've just been back home, sorted that out, and uh, I'm going to get this section put on. I've already taken the cowl off the top of the chimney, um, so let's get this put on. that up. I just need to sort out around the edge. Obviously it's a tight fit here so I just need to sort out this edge here but this is tight, this is tight and this is tight. Unfortunately I smashed one of these glass uh, panels when I put it down but it is what it is. I've got another panel behind here which was broken which we're going to replace while we're on as well and that is that section all done and dusted. Well that's gone. that Dave gone. Um, I'll show you what we've managed to get sorted. I'm quite pleased actually. Oh, another pair. Managed to get this secured in place. I've just put some silicon across the top here just to keep it in place and keep the water running off the top. Um, down the side, I've blocked that hole up on the fire so there's no drafts getting in. Getting some more clips and the clips that I had, um, we have just secured that section in and that section in as well. 
this window that was smashed unfortunately we don't have a window is uh, the right size 24 and a quarter which i need 24 25 uh, inches across uh, so too big so for temporary measure pop a bit of um the laminate uh, laminate wood in uh, just till tomorrow till going i get that cut moving on up moving on up getting this plate in measured perfectly Thanks for the help of Grandad Dave and a bit of forethinking. Thanks to John for the use of his tools and also his uh, the metal uh, the metal section as well. Um, managed to get that in there, lovely, fits nice and tight. So that pipe is not going anywhere, absolutely nowhere at all. So did used to wobble, doesn't wobble anymore. Of course, I've got the fire on at the minute because it's time to get it going. Um, well, I've got it going. I'm going to crack on and get some beer tomorrow to sort it out. Just had a message to go and collect uh, one of the kids, so I've got to go and pick one of them first. Um, I'm going to bring her down here. She's going to give us a hand with the tomatoes. Hello, Elizabeth. Hi. Are you going to come and help me with some tomatoes? Yeah. <laughs> That's good of you for helping us out. Let's show everybody what we've just picked. Bread shop. I need some more mushroom trays. These are sitting outside. Fantastic. I've also cleared some space in the back there as well, so that we can get these tomatoes sorted out. So, Elizabeth. What? Let's get these tomatoes done. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, from one of those tubs, like that, to separate them out, three different stages, different sizes, smaller, medium, and large. So they should all be around about the same, um, same growth. So Elizabeth's just sitting at the back there, and that's what she's done so far. I've just potted them up, and she's busy putting them in the tray. Good job, Elizabeth. Yeah. Hey, Elizabeth, you're doing a good job there, like, aren't you? And that tray full the back there. Right, here's a handy tip for you with your tomatoes. Say, for example, they're very leggy. These are tall, which I was wanting them to be tall, um, just the way they are grown. Now, these going into smaller pots, they don't fit. So what I'm doing is, because the more stem you get with com contact with compost, the more roots there are, all I've done is just bent it around a little bit, just divest it slightly, just twisted it, so that we'll get the tops of the more the stem in the ground as opposed to having it like that with lots of the top I twist it down push the base right down twist it down then if I fill it with compost that means we get a nice little bit at the top lots of stalk at the bottom for plenty of root growth and that'll be an absolute fantastic plant with lots of root in a couple of weeks time so we'll probably have something a little something like that wow that. So that's what I'm looking for in about a week and a half, two weeks time, because that's what I'll be selling them as, plants like that. So that's all of them done. Got 60 in total. So there's 20 in there, 20 in there, 20 in there. So they should all be good to go in about a week and a half's time. Like I mentioned before, that's kind of the size that I'm looking for. Now these need to be potted on to the next steps. Next stages, which these ones will be uh, selected to go into the uh, the pot noodle pot. Is the next one, so they'll go from there into there, a little bit deeper, and then uh, they'll be ready to get rid of as well. Last thing we're doing before I go home is these are the saved Joe's Long Chili, they're nice and dry. So what I've done is I've cut them open, just down the middle. Just like this, be careful, yeah. So I'll cut them open over in the middle. Obviously, I'm not going to touch myself or anything like that after doing this. And the good seed, what I've done is just put over the top of some compost there. And there we go. So just pat all them down. Bit of the knife. Get some compost over the top. And that's the jaws long sorted out now when they get so big i'll pop them up just like i've done with all of those decay and saved seed put them on a bit of bottom heat with the prop get a lid on and we'll see what comes of them should do well with the saved seed i did well with the last ones as well but that's me done for today well what a busy day today it's uh 
it's been i'm pleased to managed to get a lot of the things done when i want to get done the main thing i wanted to get done was the pipe and uh, obviously the roof section which is now all secure in and looking a lot nice neat and tidy the pipe is now secure as well so it's not going to be going anywhere and um, please manage to get another load of tomatoes potted up because they really need to be done and um, also got the cabbages done as well which is fantastic and um, so that's me done for today me and elizabeth's done we're going to go home for some tea and just relax um I will be going live uh, tomorrow night on Wednesday night, so I'll see you all on there. Obviously, you'll be watching this on Sunday, so it was a good night, wasn't it? <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'll see you all tomorrow night, and I'll catch you all over the next few days. Good morning. Wednesday morning. I'm down the plot very quickly before I head off up to work. Um, I'm just busy uh, sorting the fire out, and uh, Gwana's, off. Gwana's on his way down. Let's show you what, he, what you got. <laughs> Wait till you see these. What the hell you got <laughs> There's some Cali parsnips. There's more. There's more than that. But them, them pull them all loose. Oh, aye, you can, you can put them back in the soil. Though. I'll put them back in the soil because you're going to keep them for the next few months because oh, it's going to yeah. be busy. That smells lovely, that, them parsnips. I do. Some canker on the top, like, but other than that, what variety are they? I cut that off, didn't you? What variety are they? Um, pass. Pass. <laughs> They're gladiator, they pass. And not javelin, I got a uh, gladiator. I'll have the packet somewhere. Well, have a look, but um, I know where we're putting the parsnips next year. You know what? Aye, aye. Aye. People are putting them in new. They you know they smell lovely. You like. can't beat that smell, man. You can't? It? There's more. There's more. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell, there's some size parsnips. Um, I've got my giant ones um, already set away at home. Uh, I think I'll just give them a grand idea. <laughs> Right, I'm going to quickly get these pots um, cut up so when I come back down later on, I can get the tomatoes sorted out. They're sewn. Um, another one of these, little and often sorted. Well, been up to work and they've sent us home. Um, little Elizabeth was off school yesterday and due to the madness that's going on, the pandemic, I informed them uh, just to be on the safe side and they've sent us home for a week. So, I mean, it's not really a lot I can do about it. They've sent me home. It's not been voluntarily, um, but I'm going to take this as a as a positive. I'm going to take get some stuff from here, take it home, so I've got some stuff to do. I've grabbed some compost um, from what I could afford, and I'm going to do some potting on at home. Looks like I've got a lot of things I can be getting on with this week. Another good hour spent down. I'm getting my own sun gold and my own Shirley sorted out. I've getting the gone to light Tom sorted out there as well, so there's now 43 there, or 42 should I say, and uh, everything's had a good drink in here, and a spray as well. I'll do this. In fact, no, I haven't sprayed. I'll do the spray later on. I do have to get these giant cabbage potted up, as they're, they're itching to get pulled out of there. And uh, I've just given these a drink, so they're starting to come back again. They're not looking too clever, them ones. To be honest, they're the money maker. The ones at the back aren't looking too good. I might just give them up. Uh, these ones need sorting out though, so I've still got another three to go. And then that's me all sorted with Tom's potted up, and that's it sorted. Well, yeah, that's me sorted for today. I'm going to go home and prepare for this evening. Um, I've got some more onions to bring down. I need to shift these tomatoes uh, into the other greenhouse. Uh, Gwana's going to get his fire on as well. I might be able to move a few tomatoes into his greenhouse for the time being because I've got that many. Um, a couple of weeks' time, I'll have hopefully rid of all of them as well. But for me today, I'll see you over the next few days, but this haven't been off. I'll get some digging done well i did sign off for the day but i managed to get a few more bits potted on and sorted out so let me just show you around the greenhouse now oh, looks a little bit different in the back here now doesn't it <laughs> i've moved some things around and stuff obviously the leaks are all exactly the same i need to get on top of them with the sprays and um, these two leaks they're the cumbrians I have to go alongside with all these ones here which need to be potted up the, th the change that i've made is the these are the um Peter Park Garden, Celsius. Uh, so in that tray there and in that tray there, they're going to need to be potted on shortly. Um, I've brought down the um, my own saved seed, uh, A and B heads, that were underneath the grow lights. As you can see, the ones with the perlite, mass perlite on the top are from the A head, and the other ones are from the B head. You can't really see anything in there, but if you look down, you can see through there it's going to be a bit difficult for watering but um i will get things sorted out in here much better but i've brought everything in here so i've got some space down the home to start potting up the other onions so i'm gonna go and get the heater sorted out so i can put it in a greenhouse and then uh, i can get things 
evicted from here. Won't be long till I'm planted out, but things are coming on, canny. Tomatoes, as you've seen earlier on, all the tomatoes are potted up. Right, so far. These are my Sicilians and Sun Golds. I've still got some more home to pot on. Obviously, the Dickey and Peppers are still the same there. I've got some uh, Gardner's Delight tomatoes there. And then I'm going to take it down into the middle greenhouse and show you what I've got in there. And I've still got all them tomatoes to pot up yet. For the middle greenhouse, I'm not going to open the door. Let the heat in. Um, I've got the cabbages, of course, from yesterday. But I've also got all of these tomatoes as well. Now, if I see from outside here, let's see if I can see. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight trays of tomatoes. So that's 160 tomatoes there, all in all. And I've still got water pot up. The joys. It's starting to look <laughs> nice on the orchard. The, um, the hyacinths and things coming up. Um, I think these are pansies in the front as well. Uh, the tulips are all starting to show the heads as well. And uh, obviously the daffodils are still up as well, which is really nice. I've got some crocus at the back there. A few of the early tulips are starting to come up as well. I'll tell you what, what a lovely smell it is. I'm going to come walking past here, obviously when the fire's not blaring away. Um, I've got the hyacinths up here because I tell you what, what a, what a smell these go off. Oh, they're bloody lovely them. Lush, smell lovely. I've got some daff uh, daffodils here as well. I need to move them around, put them around so it looks nice. I'll do that tomorrow um, when I get a chance to. But in the meantime, that is me done for today. Uh, the greenhouse is looking absolutely chock a block. But things are planning out how I expected them to do so. I've got uh, five litre pots down at the garden here. I just need to wait at the end of the month so I can pot the last onions up into five litre pots. Then from the five litre pots, they'll be going into the ground. In fact, I tell a lie. I change of plan. They're not going in the five litre pots because I might as well just put them straight in the yellow buckets. So the yellow buckets are, I'm going to chop the bottoms off the yellow buckets and then I'm going to pop them into the ground into the um onion house and that'll be about six weeks time um well, say six is going to be about more like eight weeks time by the time i get all of these done and all these sorted out so uh i'll just be jumping straight out of the big pots ready for to plant out on top of the bed okay, well, on that, what a day um just, i wasn't expecting to get any of this done today because i was expecting to be at work until around about now um so i managed to get done what i've been able to get done and uh, obviously keep myself to myself uh but I'll be going live tonight, so I'll be looking forward to seeing everybody there and I'll show everybody the progress in the grow room as well. Thursday, day two of isolation. <laughs> um, I've popped down in the garden while Leslie's busy sorting out lesson plans for the kids. Um, she was set up last night and did a lot of things. The schools are starting to give out stuff as well, as of course she's all now well away. The kids are going to be off school from Friday for the foreseeable future. So it's important to make sure that their education comes first as well. Um, so Leslie's doing a fantastic job. I'm lucky enough to have a sister who's a teacher as well. So there's lots of support there for us as well. Um, in the meantime, though, of course, in this, uh, as I said on the live video last night, um, it's basically it, it, it's, it's garden as we need to get things prepped for the growing season and um, now more than ever it's going to be important for what we can do in regards to feeding the family and stuff like that as well and um, me i'm fortunate enough to have two large gardens and uh, depending on what happens with the shows i might change my plans and actually just put stuff in the the garden next door Um, i might just put like veg standard veg in next door and stuff like that saying that i'm going to do some sewing today and uh, i'll show you what i'm going to be sewing as of last night i came up with a plan of uh, to do over the next few days as well I did not think again where I've made a plan and I haven't stuck to it. <laughs> um, I've come down, of course, I'm running out of room in regards to heated areas and stuff like that. So I've just knocked this together. So we're in the onion house, which is not going to get used for a good eight weeks. It's good to go down two months yet. Um, I'll just put this together. So I've got the bench on the back, just two wraps of uh, bubble wrap, some a couple of canes, and get in the top and have a look and see what's what. And I can also get in from underneath. And start putting the plants in from there as well. So, I haven't let your butterfly out, it's still flapping around in there somewhere. Have you seen it? I have seen it this morning. 
But hi, well, that's what I've managed to get done so far. I'm going to get tomatoes and stuff in here. So here's some of the stuff that I've got here. I've got the sunflowers. These are from my own saved head, the 15-inch sunflower head from uh, 2018. Um, I give some to Jeff Foreman and Dave Robson from Dave's Allotment. Um, and they go some ma massive, well, huge. They were a lot of tall sunflowers rather than the big heads, but I'm going to put a few of them in. Um, I've got the tall sunflower from the EGVGA pack from Poland. And I've also got this one, which is a huge one for the head. Uh, 42.5 centimeters so uh, i've got them to sew I've got some standard titan ones which i'll sew for the kids i've got some peppers here as well so there's some hot that's a hot pepper i don't want hot pepper i want sweet peppers so i've got the digal the dagasti i've got the corneo and i've also got some um some other ones the california wonder i don't know where they are i had they had them here um set of amsterdam forcing Cucumber, Telegraph Improved, some tomato, Shirley, and some market more cucumbers as well for anybody that wants them. So I'll put them in as well. Uh, I'm also going to put some petunias in as well. And also the marigolds. Time to get me a rest of my marigolds sewn just in case the other ones don't take. So lots to do. I'm just going to get them done and then put them in the greenhouse and obviously show you after. So far, so good. Doing a space saver technique at the minute. Uh, obviously, the whole point is to save a bit of space. Um, so here I've got um the sweet peppers i've got mark and more two packs of mark and, uh, one pack of mark and more in here uh shirley tomatoes in here these two the peppers in these two um there's some uh, sunflower from the 15 inch, inch head and the telegraph cucumbers in there now this is just to start them off that's it once i get them up i can pot them on and then go into separate pots so this is the kind of thing that i'm doing here i've got this titan sunflowers i've got 30 in this packet um and so what i've done is half them 15 each uh, I could just put these in like a germination tank, um, like a Tupperware box with a bit of kitchen roll. It's probably what I'm, it's exactly what I'm going to do with the competition ones, the big ones. So the likes of these ones here, I'm going to take them home and I'm going to do that with them because I've only got a couple of them. So I've got two of them, and I've got um, how many of them? I've got I've got six, seven of them. So I'm going to take them back over home and I'm going to germinate them um, with a tea to air with a wet uh, wet kitchen roll. Um, but I'm just going to leave these ones in here. Then as soon as they're up, I can pot them on. So that's pretty much nearly everything sewn um, for chilies, peppers, uh, sorry, peppers, sunflowers, tomatoes, cucumbers, things like that. Uh, what I'll be looking for is like a bit like blue peter before and after. So this is before, then after we'll have something that kind of looks like that. So these are obviously the cayenne chilies. Then from there, I'll pot them up into the single pots. And these 20 per tray, and that's them sorted out. So that's how, I, that's how I'm doing mine anyways. I'm so done. What I was doing, I was just going to do a little little video, get like how easy it is to sew certain things. Um, and I've had a bit of a snag. I'll show well, now is I get some more marigold sewn. So I've got some naughty marietta here. And all I'm doing is using these trays, one per cell tray, and see what comes of it. So what I'm going to do is just push them down and cover them over one at a time. I'm going to do that for that packet. I'm also going to do it for. The French honeycomb and also the dwarf double mixed as well. These are all French marigolds. I don't want the African ones. African ones are big. I only want the small ones for around the pots and around the tomatoes and stuff like that. There we go. Marigold sewn. So, of course, I've got my own saved ones there from uh, last year. I see how they turn out. But in the meantime, I've gotten 81 sewed there. I'm not expecting all of them to fire, but they'll stay in them pots until they're ready to plant out. Next on the sewn list, I'm going to sew some petunias. These will be going into some baskets just in the lot. Um, I'm going to just sew one tray full here. Just a simple, I've just made a divot in the bottom of here. I'm just going to sprinkle a couple of seeds in each one and cover them over very lightly. Once again, just to repeat, the, um, it's very important to read the back of these packets. Uh, indoor sewing here. Sew thin in, in trays of seed compost. I'm doing a little bit differently. Do not cover the seed with compost as light as required for germination. So that's exactly what i'm going to do i've already done it so i've just put a little divot on you won't be able to see the seeds on here but i'm going to do two trays of these i told my grandma this morning i seen his little pet <laughs> right let's get this sorted out i'm going to do a couple of these beds as fast as i can and then uh, head back home and do some stuff down home which i've got already planned for today it's fortunately i don't have my camera stand so i can't time lapse it so i'll show you what i'm like with a fantastic little magic trick There we go, there's uh, two beds done. Got a couple more beds to do. I'm gonna make a start with them anyways, I might as well do them while I'm here. But I'm gonna have two minutes, get a drink, because that sun is warm. 
going to get some shade. Well, that's me doing for today down in the garden. I'll be back down later on to sort the fire out. I'm going to go home now and prepare for my giant carrots. So we're back at home now. I'm um, just in the greenhouse in the back garden. Uh, I've just fabricated some new uh, giant carrot tubes and I'll uh, get you a show from the last one, ones from last year to the one the improvements made from this year. So there's ones from last year. As you can see, they're about a foot, foot in size on top of each other, tape around the insides, done, sorted. Well, here's the new ones. Much longer and a, lot, a little bit bigger as well on the inside. So what I'll be doing is when these dry out, after I go for some lunch, I'll be lining the inside with some compost. Then I'll get the carrot and I'll lie it in after giving it some goodies, give it the micro, and I'll get the other side and I'll just trap it on that side like that. Obviously, I'll have two hands at that time. And that'll be the size of the giant carrot tube. And obviously at the top as well. This will stay in here, the carrot will stop in here until it's time to plant out. It's a lot bigger than the last year. So that's this year's. Last year's was only... Uh, like, as you can see there, that's, what, that's part of it. Not very big. So, improvement from last year, indeed. But I'm going to get this done so I've had something to eat. And I'll just show you what the after results are like. Because it's going to be fiddly. Well, I've got a helpful little helper, haven't I? Hello, yeah. Kyle. Well, Kyle's going to help me do the... What are we going to do now? We're going to what? We're going to do the peppers next. We're going to do the peppers next, but these are tomatoes. We're going to put the tomatoes, tomatoes up now. Next. Do the tomatoes now, and Kyle's going to help us. And there we have it. There's our sun gold and also our Shirley tomatoes potted up. That's them sorted. Good job, Kyle. I what? Mean, you made a castle. You've been busy with Daddy's pots, haven't you? Hey, you've yeah, done really well. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Eighteen. I need them pots. No. <laughs> what we're we gonna do now? Uh, What's them ones? Peppers. We're gonna do the peppers now. Peppers. Yeah. Peppers. Bump. Yeah. <laughs> I know I did. Right, slightly different to what I did uh, earlier on. I'm going to do these in rows because this is where the tomatoes were in, so I can just put it back in the propagator. So I'm just going to do two rows or a few rows and put these peppers in. Look for a space in the row. Nine. Oh, there's a big space between that one and that one. Right, we'll move them up a little bit. Give them a good space in each. Good job, Kyle. So that's nine. Nine and nine is 18. That's how many seeds we had, isn't it? Yeah. So that's 18 seeds in there for the uh, California Wonder. Now we need to get the sweet mini red. You did it all by yourself. You did it all by yourself, did you? You did, yes. A little bit of help. <laughs> Uh, just a little bit though. So there's my peppers all sewn, ready to go. So we just need to a little bit of compost over the top. Let me hide. Yeah, then you get a little bit of compost in just over the top. You can't even reach. You can, go on, good to go. That's it, go on, there we go. A little bit, just a little bit, just need a sprinkle. That's all over, all over, sprinkle all over. Don't want it too high. That's it, all over. Right, the thing I'll do, put the rest of back, put the rest back. Oh, don't then, right. We'll do. Daddy will just stick that across there. I have to wash my hands. Well, you wash your hands in a second and we'll go back inside oh, like we normally this do. One's, this one's clean, this one's dirty. It's not dirty, it's just a bit of compost. Stop crying. I'm Wait, dirty. clap your hands, rub your hands together. Rub your hands together. Rub your, rub your hands together. That's it, that. Aye, right, get rid of it. There we go. No, but it, not, not a problem with a little bit of dirt, man. You're alright. Right, so that's them sweet peppers. Soon, I get them back on. I get them back on the propagator, and that's that sorted. Well, that's them um, done. Thank you very much for your help, little Kyle. Yeah. So, uh... oh, you've just knocked it! Oh, <laughs> oh man, you 
you can tidy them up, tidy them up then. Right, that's them all sorted, tomatoes done. Tomatoes done, tomatoes done, and also peppers done as well. Well, time's getting away from me today. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna get the carrots done. I'll have to get them done tomorrow. Um, but it's been another productive day today. Uh, we'll crack on and do a bit more tomorrow. Well, good morning. It's Friday morning. The kids are driving everybody around the bend. It's only day two. <laughs> no, um, so yeah, it's Friday morning. Uh, I'm down in the back garden. I did a lot of potting on last night. Um, Leslie gave us the inspiration, the motivation to get my finger pulled out. I'll show you what I did last night in the dark, because <laughs> that's how long it took. Um, but I'll give you a quick peek at what I did. So far this morning, I'll show you what I've done as well. Um, I'm going to help the kids with the homeschooling before I make a start on my stuff today. So today, what I've started, very quickly, some flowers. So germination ones, like I say, I've got minimal seeds so i've got a bit of de de damp uh, kitchen roll in the bottom here um three sunflowers from this one two of this one i'm going to pop the lid on this is germination chamber took away box take away box even and that will be going on top of the light where it's nice and warm when the light turns on and i'll just check that every other day so let me show you what i've been doing in here so I emptied the tomatoes out yesterday. Tomatoes are in the sitting room ready to go down the garden today. Um, and we, me and Kyle obviously, yesterday, as you can see, as you've seen, sowed the sweet peppers. Everything in here is ticking along. Uh, we've got, I think this is the kohlrabi. Yeah, kohlrabi. I've done all right with kohlrabi this year so far. Didn't get any germ in it last year. So, got kohlrabi there, we're all in a bit of bottom heat with some uh, beetroot. I've got the carrots to do today. That's uh, definitely a task to get done today. Uh, anyways, there's what I was going to show you was I've gotten this Peter Holden onion um, potted up into a three litre pot. Good root system on that. I'll show you in uh, this corner. Then if I come along, I've got the first batch, uh, the last batch, sorry, of uh, quality onions potted up. So they were originally in them pots, like that. I'll get them on there. So they're originally in them pots there. They needed putting on a good two or three weeks ago, to be honest. Um, never got around to doing them. I'm going to do them the rest of them today. So that's what's rest. Uh, that's what's left to do. So I've got all them done. Um, got some. Got three. Uh, giant red cabbage, potted up. I've still got these ones to pot up as well. And I also got three. Uh, the last three Yorkshire giants, which I kept back. Uh, potted up in three liters. And these are in three liters at the minute. They need to go to five liters before they go out. So they will be going down to the garden. Them three there. Now we did get really cold last night. Um, thankfully I had the heater on. Um, I do need some supplies at the weekend, so I will be going down to get some some more yellow yellow traps. Um, in a couple of bags of compost, so that I can get the bigger stuff started potting up. Um, but that'll be done later time, and I need it now um so that when i go down i can just get it on with it and get it done but um this morning we'll be helping the kids out uh helping leslie out with the kids and um, finishing off potting these uh onions up taking a few things more things down to the allotment you know i've got no room for them <laughs> and then uh getting the getting the carrots done so that's so far that's what the plan is for today with them at home Um once i get to the garden digging get them last couple of beds dug over as always i'll show you me my good things and my bad things. Well, here's the onion graveyard. These are all onions I didn't make the cut, including the giant ones there at the back. Hey, doing the garden. Time to pick up where I left off yesterday. Get them beds to go over. Well, that's them um, beds done. 
I'm gonna go and get some uh, 6X and I'm just gonna sprinkle the beds with some 6X. Well, that's a bed's fed. I'm gonna start uh, taking these dealers up now because it'll be time to actually put them in properly in their final places shortly. So let's see how many I can save. So I've made, a, I've made a decision, um, I'm going to leave these dahlias in this bed specifically. These are the dahlias that I like. Um, I've got uh, some uh, Procyon at the back there and some new variety um, that I got from what was last year. Uh, I think it was like night bird or something like that. Um, I'll have to have a look, I've got the labels here. Um, but the other ones, the ones at the bottom half of there, are going down to Leslie's plot. Um, potentially even the big ones up at the top there as well. But just, just an experiment, just to see if they come back better the second year round. These have been in all winter. The ones that I pulled up are still strong. All I'm going to do is just disturb the top of the soil, clear out the roots, uh, clear out the weeds, and then that's all of them beds done. All squatted across the top, sort of de-weeded um, across there as well, and I've given it a bit of a feed as well. So I wouldn't say that's too bad, a couple hours work. It's all tidied and cleaned. Uh, I've even cleaned on the side here as well. So I've gotten two, four, two, uh, two, four, six, six beds sorted out. All nice, sorted out, they've been fed as well. The, um, the cold weather over the course of the night times, so they'll break that down and then I can just go over it if and when need be. I can even just put the covers back on when it comes to it like, but uh, I'll see what happens. Well, I've got some more um, sort to do. I've got some more cucumbers to put in um, and some other bits and pieces. So I'm gonna go into the screen out, see what seeds I've got and start sowing again. What I've got here is I've got the elephant garlic. Now this elephant garlic's not gonna be ready for a little while yet. Probably talking about July time, uh, possibly even August. Um, but I've spotted in the middle, there's some spaces. So what I'm going to do is you can already see on the packets there. I've uh, went across the top. I've just uh, thing at the top. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sow a couple of rows of beetroot here. And beetroot is very very simple. Not what you need. It's just a hole. So I'll just use this to create a divot. There we go. All the way down. I'll do. One there, I'll see one there, one there, one there. I'll do it now. There we go. So four of them. Time to get the beetroot soon. So I've got two different varieties. I've got bold hardy, standard uh, beetroot variety. And I've also got a different variety here. And this variety is called Cardeal. So we'll see what comes with these. There should be 275 around about in there. All I'm gonna do is just broadcast it down here. I didn't mean broadcast, that wasn't what I was meant looking for. Um, so sewn. So I've just sewn. Doesn't matter about spacing apart, doesn't matter about nothing like that. Because what we'll be able to do is be able to just thin them out in later time. So that's the first lot sewn. Bolt hardy. I'm going to get the other one sewn now. This is all the seed. Just opened the seed packet. And it looks like they've already started germinating in the past. <laughs> I'll have to go and find some I'm more. Find myself a different variety. So this is Detroit 2. She is so from April, but pff, see what happens. <laughs> so we've got um, ah, two rows of Detroit 2. 
and two rows of bolt hardy. So I'm just going to um, go down here, V motion, and just cover them up. So that's all I'm done and dusted, once that's sorted out. So um, in regards to the beetroot, I don't even have to wait for the beets to form. What I can do is I can just eat the young um, young leaves for salad leaves. So when I start thinning them out, I'll be able to take them salad leaves and then leave the other ones to leave the beets to form. Jobs are good. Last task of the day, get these telepathy uh, cucumbers sown. So I'm just going to put them in the little pots just like I have with the rest. That's all it out. And I've got the cucumber telepathy. I've only got five seeds in the packet. That's that one's there. And that's everything else sorted for sowing in here. They should be coming up between 7 to 14 days. Next to the warm heater. Done. I've also got me Sun Golds and also me Shirley's in here as well. Gran has lost his, uh, lost his seeds. So it's a good job I've put plenty of extras in. Everything else has been uh, sprayed and watered as well. So looking good. And Abby Dozy. I'm debating whether I just, uh, well, in fact, I'm not. I want to sort these out because uh, these are all going to be going into the big yellow buckets when I get sorted. Yeah, I've got the uh, mini mums. I need to take them cuttings. I'll do that in the next few days. But other than that, everything's looking fine. Dabby Dozy. Woohoo! Home time. I'm going to take this beauty with us. That will blossom. Um, oh, the amaryllis. Um, so I'm going to take that home with me now. I'm going to go on a windowsill and be absolutely beautiful when it comes to flowering. Um, I'm going to go and see Granada Dave and then uh, head home and do some potting up at home. Just before I do head home, just remembered something. I have um, I have had these in the car, just chitting away. Um, I forgot to mention, thank you very much, Ian, um, from JBA Potatoes. Um, I won a competition a few, I think it was a couple of weeks ago, um, the for five Bluebell seed potatoes. So these are a competition variety. They do look really nice, and they actually didn't um, sell these this year because they had such a poor crop. So that they uh, only had a limited stock, so we put a competition out, and I was fortunate enough to win some. So thank you very much, um, JBA Potato Potatoes. Um, I look forward to, to getting them sown. Um, but in the meantime, they're going to be staying in the greenhouse, chit away, and I'll get them into the potato uh, tower um, with some fresh compost. Actually, just thinking, I'm going to actually try something, a little bit of an experiment. I know a couple of guys use the eyes of the uh, large potatoes uh, for the giant potatoes um, and pot them up. Well. There's a few eyes on these potatoes, and I only normally put one in. So what I might do is take a couple of these eyes, pop them in a couple of pots, and we'll see what happens. Well, now I've done this before, so I've taken some eyes off, and we'll just have to see what happens. So I'm just planting them just very gently, just very uh, shallow into there, and then we'll see what, what comes of them. Right back at home now, I'm gonna get these cabbages and these onions potted up into the one liter pots, and also the Lots of pots as well. Right, there's another three cabbages potted up. Let me take you into the greenhouse, the shed, sorry, and we'll see what's happening with the onions. Yeah, the cabbages are done. Them three and them three sorted out. I've still got some more to go, actually. The other ones are in here. Uh, I don't believe the red giant uh, Kilimanjaro, whatever it is, Kilimanjaro. There's six of them there, ready to go. Same with the, uh, the kohlrabi down here and also the beetroot. Uh, but you've already seen them, so phew, I've got some uh, giant cabbage there as well still to go pot up. I'm going to do that in the day though. Um, there we have it. There's all the onions sorted out. Apologies for the flickering lights. Um, so I've run out of clips, uh, which is a bit of an issue, but uh, nevertheless, that's, that's sorted in any case. Um, they'll soon straighten up when they get the lights on underneath them. Um, they, they'll be potted up in four weeks' time, and then they'll be potted in a big yellow bucket after that. I'll just miss a step out to see what happens with them. But uh, yeah, that's them sorted. Pleased with that. Uh, everything else is ticking over nicely. These Yorkshire Giants are going to be going down to the allotment tomorrow. Granada Dave just rang and said that the fire sorted out, which is great. Uh, other than that, everything else is just tickety boo in here. Well, another busy day for me. I'm uh, absolutely shattered. <laughs> I'm going for a bath. Uh, my back's, uh, back's playing up a little bit, but nothing, nothing can I really uh, recover from. Uh, I think it might be just be sympathy pains from the wife, because <laughs> she's not feeling the best at the moment. But anyways, um, I'll catch you over the weekend, uh, we'll get some more stuff done. Happy Saturday morning, um, one plan today, uh, got a couple more 
uh, tomatoes with potlucks, so I'm going to get that sorted this morning. Got a um, lad coming down, Cray Orchard. He's coming down with his dad, who I've met on a few occasions. Uh, they're coming down to have a lot of garden stuff like that, obviously keeping the distance. <laughs> um, but a few of the things that I'm growing uh, are for them as well, so they're coming to have a look as well. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get these tomatoes sorted out. Well, that was a nice little visit by uh, by Craig and his dad, David. Um, They've had, a, they've had a look around, they've uh, seen what's what, they've uh, they've put their water in for some tomatoes and uh, chilies and such like. Um, I'll show you the, the tums that we've got, and Dave's given us as well, which I'll quickly put it up, and I'll show you that all of the tomatoes I managed to get so and so. I didn't have any tumbling tums, luckily Grandar came to the rescue, I've got 20 tumbling tom seeds in there, they're yellow ones, um, so I've just put them in, in there, above the heater tank, so they should be coming up shortly. Three packets to sort out. These are the, what's see, the money makers. So I've got the last lot of money makers to pot up. I've got uh, some standard ones there, and there's some money makers as well. But I don't, I don't like the look of them. I think I'm not going to bother with them ones. Um, I've given uh, Craig and his dad some collies as well, just to have a try with. And I've still got these cayenne chilies to pot up. Let's have a look at the tomatoes that I've managed to pot up so far. So I've got one tray, two trays, three trays, four trays, five trays. Six trays, seven trays, and eight trays. So eight trays all together in the middle greenhouse. Got 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 trays of tomatoes, all sorted with uh, 20, by 20 in total. So it's about 300, by 280. Uh, tomato plants there with the other ones still to go uh, I'm estimating probably over 350 plants altogether um, I've also got the chilies in here as well which are uh, 40 chilies for the Dick IN they're coming along canny and everything else is just ticking along there nicely chrysanthemums are sitting in there just getting a drink uh, they're all looking good got cabbages there and also cabbages there giving some cabbages away and stuff right, as well. butterflies still alive and kicking <laughs> <laughs> looks pretty that like does. Right, I've got to go and help the father-in-law as he can't leave the house. Um, so this is probably going to be me for today. Um, I'm going to get some compost for myself and get them carrots sorted out probably tomorrow. So uh, if I don't see you for the rest of the day, I'll see you tomorrow. Right. Now back at home, I've got me giant carrots here in the pot. I need to take them out. I've got me tubes ready to go. And I've also got the compost mix sorted out as well. Let's get these carrots in. First, of course, need to fill these tubes up so I'm going to fill one side and I'm going to fill the other side and what I've got here is I've got newspaper for the bottom so the soil doesn't obviously fall down the bottom and um, I've got some my core put in the middle let's get these carrots out and see what they're like right, that's the carrots cleaned off separated now when you clean them off and separate them you don't normally do this for normal carrots this is only for giant carrots because I want them to mutate and I want them to get big and nasty looking um, you want to be careful of the tap root, which is the main root of the bottom. So I've tried to keep all of these intact. As you can see, I've managed to get all of them, which is good. None of them have snapped off. Been very gentle with them. Now what I'm going to do is mix them fully in with the micro and put them into there. Well, it may not be pretty, but it'll do the job. Just wait for that to uh, settle in place there. But that's one done. Right, I want to get the rest done now. Wish me luck. <laughs> well, what a job that was. I'm sure that's probably going to be an easier way to do that, but for the time being, that's that done. As you can see the size difference from, because I've had to use one of the older ones, uh, the larger one of the, the older ones, but I've gotten seven, seven heavy carrots into the tubes there. Um, so the bottom, I've got, this, I've got the, um, the newspaper. That should do fine. Uh, I want to go and put these into the shed and then uh, probably take this down to the allotment sometime next week. Well, six will be enough, seven by six or seven will be enough for me for what I need. Uh, I'm only going to grow six basically. Um, these three here, I've got a plan for these, um, but I'll tell you about that next week. Well, that's the carrots in here. It's that sorted out. Um, I've been very, very busy this week, hence the reason why it's such a long video. It's what a nightmare, what a week it's been for just not in general for gardening for me, but everybody across the uk and um, across the world basically so um 
I will probably not be doing anything tomorrow. Um, so I am going to be signing off at this moment in time for this week. Uh, I thank everybody for watching. I thank everybody for subscribing, everybody for joining on the live video as well. Um, I hope you're all safe. Take care of what you do. We'll see what happens over the next few weeks. Um, but for me, in regards to self-isolating, or if I'm in or out the house, I'll still be plotting on in the garden. I'll still be plotting on in the back garden. Um, my, my growing doesn't stop. These don't stop growing. You need to look after them. Um, last thing I'll leave you on is the, the onions and everything. Uh, I haven't quite done an update on the onions since I potted them up, so let me show you. Now, this light has been really, really, really good. It has been kind of, uh, kind of flat, I kind of fall out. I've got it uh, raised up. It's been doing the giant onions, every single giant onion that I've had. Um, that's these ones here. So that's one of the pips. Um, I have had to move the other two on the other side, another T5s, but uh, that's just because I haven't had the space. Um, so they're all settled away. Um, but these ones that I've got, the, the ones up behind them, they'll not be behind for long. They're, they're, they're stretching up for the light there. It's, 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 they're growing really nicely since I potted them up. Um, I just need a bit of tidying up with them, but these plants are reacting really well to the LED lighting. So once again, I really recommend spider former yes this is just like you say the sf1000 light you get a couple of different lights as well there's sf2000 um which has got two lights then there's the the, the biggest one as well which has four um it's done really well for these i'm going to use this for the nursery plants and everything next year so um that's exactly what the plan is for next year i'll have this underneath the bench and uh make a little grow room with that because let me see, like I said, it has done really well. Sorry, I'm just keep kicking this door here. <laughs> it's done really well with the big onions, but uh, we're still still a little bit of time left. Still plenty to be getting on with. Still um, lots of growing to be done with them. Right, but yes, thank you very much for joining everybody. It has been a very long week this week. But obviously, lots of done, lots of digging done. I'm tired now. I'm starting to feel it with being the end of the week. I'm on a day off tomorrow on Sunday, even though it's Mother's Day. So I'm spending a lot of time with Leslie and uh, just FaceTiming me mum. <laughs> so I wish all of you a happy Mother's Day for tomorrow, all you mothers out there. Um, and take care. Stay, stay safe. Keep your distance. And uh, I'll catch you all next week. Mm -hmm.